The Lost, Millennia of Knowledge, Level 51, The Forgotten City, Survival Difficulty, Class 4, Unsafe, Unsecure, Medium Entity Count. Level 51 is the subterranean site of an ancient city once inhabited by the Lost, now long abandoned and fallen into ruin. It consists of three primary sections, the Outer Labyrinth, the City Within, and the Temple at the center of the city. Description The entirety of Level 51 is suspended within an underground cavern. Based on the manner in which many structures appear disturbed, it may have possibly been located elsewhere before no clipping into this cavern. The architectural elements in Level 51 resemble those of various ancient cultures from all parts of the world in the front rooms. However, its overall style does not align with any known singular culture and seems distinctly unique. All forms of technology cease functioning within level 51 and cannot be operated until removed. Thus, the level cannot be documented in any other manner relying upon technology, including photo, audio, and video. The source of this phenomenon is yet to be identified. Level 51 may be divided into three primary sections, which are as follows. The Labyrinth Image Caption Pottery recovered from level 51. Upon entering level 51, wanderers will first find themselves in a marble maze with faded zigzag patterns of gold lining the floor. Pottery, baskets, and candles are strewn about in the corners and grapevines permeate the cracks in the walls. There are also holes of various shapes and sizes in the ceiling, some dripping with black ooze. The labyrinth's layout constantly shifts as every attempt to map it has resulted in an entirely different map that contradicts previous and later attempts. The City Beyond the labyrinth lies the city. Not much of the original structures remain, having eroded beneath the sands of time and liminal decay. From what does remain, it can be inferred that this city once consisted of houses, farms, and markets belonging to citizens from all castes of society. It was a prosperous, long-standing, and densely populated area, possibly more so than present-day Level 11. It is unknown why all the inhabitants of this city had abandoned it, but it may be related to its possible displacement from its original location. No human remains have been found. The Temple At the center of the city lies temples. Compared to the rest of level 51, it has aged considerably better, though that compensates for little. The entire structure is slightly lopsided. An overgrowth of weeds choke the outer walls, and waterfalls gush from its sides. Various relics may be found strewn about the temple's main hall ranging from the tatters of ceremonial garb, to idols, to broken blades and arrowheads forged of iron. Several instances of a certain insignia may also be found. Although this symbol was previously documented, its meaning had long eluded those who attempted to study it. With the discovery of Level 51, it is now theorized to represent the collective religion of the lost. Image Caption Mock-up of the Insignia at the back of the main hall stands a large wall, engraved with an inscription detailing the various gods of the lost. A transcription of the wall's contents can be found in the article on the Pantheon. Numerous statues stand throughout the temple, likely depicting the very same deities. However, many of them have been defaced, and thus cannot be identified. The manner of damage to these statues appears more deliberate than natural. Beyond the main hall is another section of the temple appearing to have been hidden and sealed off. This area is an expansive meeting hall, within which is a large round table encircled by marble thrones. Behind each throne is a door. Most of the doorways are currently locked, save for those which lead to level Theta, the hub, Level Upsilion, Level 11, Level 906, the Onirioscape, Level 437, Level 404, Level 555, and Level 197. 
Due to the apparent significance of this area and its barely understood nature, it will remain sealed off from wanderers, and its specific location will remain undisclosed to the public, while the Meg conducts further investigation and research. Entities Within the crevices of Level 51 dwell entities such as Death Moths, Death Rats, and Crawlers. The temple is the only part of Level 51 devoid of entities. The entities will never approach the temple, seeming to intentionally avoid it for reasons unknown. Bases, Outposts, and Communities Level 51 is not currently inhabited by any humans. However, archaeological evidence indicates that it was once a place of importance to the Lost. This importance was specifically placed on the temple, where they would have regularly congregated to conduct the worship of various deities in their pantheon. They eventually abandoned this city for reasons unknown, and, for a long time, believed that it was completely gone. Following Level 51's rediscovery, the Lost has bombarded the Meg with letters of caution, showing a level of panic unusual for them. The most recent one reads as follows. To our acquaintances within the Meg, Recently, your recent rediscovery of Hoofstead has come to our attention. For your own safety, and the safety of others, you must completely cease all activity within this level immediately. This is our fifth attempt to reach you on this matter and until you yield, our efforts shall not cease. The city was forgotten for a reason. You have awoken something that none of us can begin to fathom. Leave. The Meg has filed away these letters in their records, but their activity on the level has shown no sign of stopping thus far. Entrances and Exits Entrances Level 51 may be accessed by no-clipping through a painting in Level 57's Hall of Murals. Exits Enter one of the holes in the ceiling of the labyrinth to go to level 10 or level 20. Do so with caution, however, as some of the entities may lurk within the holes. Any of the unlockable doors in the temple's meeting hall.